In Hebrews chapter 11, we read in verse 8, By faith, Abraham, when he was called, obeyed by going out to a place which he was to receive for an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. By faith, he lived in an alien, as an alien in the land of promise, as in a foreign land, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, fellow heirs of the same promise. For he was looking for the city which has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. God says, I have, a, I have something for you to do. I've got a plan for you, Abraham. But in order for me to fill my plan, you got to leave here. In other words, stay with me. If you want to see where I want you to go, I'm not going to show you where I'm taking you till you leave where you are. You cannot stay here and have me. God has called every Christian to leave worldliness. He's not called us to leave the world. That is to, to not live in society, not work in society, not, not, not have responsibility in society. No, but worldliness is different. Worldliness are attitudes and actions that leave God out. You're worldly when there are attitudes and actions where God is dismissed from. God has saved us out of this world. The world is not, as we've said many times, a place. The world is a philosophy. It's like uh, the world of finance, the world of fashion, the world of politics, the world of sports. While they involve places, they're really an orientation centered around a certain thing. World of finance is about money. Well, worldliness is about the exclusion of God. The enemy wants you to exclude God and God says, leave there. That is, your life and my life cannot be defined by leaving God out or just putting him in piecemeal when we like it as a spare tire, taking him out the trunk when life goes flat, putting him back when we can roll on by ourselves again. You will never know where God is taking you unless you leave where you are the world you will never find out he will he will never show you what motivated him to leave God said I have an inheritance for you says he left to get his inheritance an inheritance is like a will it's something bequeathed to you God has something for every believer here if you are a Christian he has a purpose that he wants you to fulfill but he will not show you your destiny if he can't leave, get you to leave the world. As long as you're hanging on to the world, you're at enmity against God. God cannot communicate with you. So you won't hear heaven talk. You won't get answered prayers. You won't get direction. You'll be aimless because your affections are not with him. They are elsewhere. You visit him on occasion. But you live with affections and actions that leave him out. In fact, one of the ways you know you're growing as a Christian is when your passion for the world is dying and your passion for him is growing. If you're loving the world more than him, that's because the world has your affections, it has your passions. It, it, it has grabbed you. So he says, you must leave this paganism that doesn't include me without me giving you all the details. You're going to have to walk by faith and believe I know where I'm taking you. The problem was, or is, that that's where he was born. That's where he grew up. That's where all his people are. That's where his businesses were. The Bible says he was a filthy rich guy. That's where all of his activities were. So it's hard to leave something you've grown up in. Because that's, that, that informs your frame of thinking. But it says when he heard the voice of God, he obeyed and left because his inheritance was more important than his current location. So here's the decision we have to make. That is, if you really want to experience God, is what God has for you more important than where you are? Do you love the world so much you're willing to lose your destiny? Because God knows where he wants to take you. 
but you must be willing to leave. Say goodbye. 